Section 9.6 for us is all going to be about planes. And um, we'll probably spend a little bit less time on this than the lines just because the, the approach for a lot of plane problems is the same, which is that the equation for a plane with normal vector n equal to a, b, c. And that's going to be something that's um, perpendicular to the plane. Um, normal, orthogonal, perpendicular, those are all going to be words we use to say the same thing for now. Um, so a plane with that normal vector uh, that contains the point x0, y0, z0 is going to be given by 0 is equal to a times x minus x0 plus b times y minus y0 plus c times z minus z0. That's the equation for a plane. Um, go ahead and write that down somewhere that you're not going to forget it. And um, the general steps we're going to follow to write the equation for a plane are really simple. We find a point. We find a normal vector, and then we plug into the formula. The tricky part is going to be this step right here, finding the normal vector. If somebody gives it to you, that's great, but a lot of the time we're going to have to find it, and that introduces problems for us. Before we think about those trickier problems, we'll just do a real quick, easy example where you can see the formula being used. Um, so for example, someone might ask me to find the equation of a plane. Um, let's see, through the point, oops, two minus one, three with normal vector given by uh, 3 minus 7, 5. And so related to the formula we just learned, here's, here's our x0, y0, z0. Here's our a, b, c. And we could go ahead and Take our formula, 0 equals a times x minus x0 plus b times y minus y0 plus c times z minus z0. And write 0 is equal to 3 times x minus 2 minus 7 times y minus minus 1 is plus 1 plus 5 times z minus 3. I'll just write that right above y minus minus 1. That way, if anybody didn't quite catch what happened there, I just turned that into a plus sign. And that right there is the answer. That's the equation of a plane through that point. We could rearrange it if we wanted to. That's 0 is equal to 3x minus 7y plus 5z, which is um, having leftover terms minus 6, minus 7, minus 15, um, minus 13. Minus 13 minus 15 is going to give us minus 28. 
So we could even write the 28 on the other side if we wanted to. Any way we rearrange this, it's still an equation of a plane. Personally, I prefer to just leave it in this form, but some of you all will want it simplified in a different way. That's okay too. Um, what's going to be important for us is that we can also read off an equation of a plane to learn the normal vector. Um, so in the opposite direction, you should be able to know that a plane given by um, 3x minus 7y plus 5z plus 55 equal to 0 has normal vector 3 minus 7, 5. Because the numbers that multiply x, y, and z are always going to be the components of that normal vector from our formula. Um, that's where it came from. And so when you read off whatever's attached to the x, the y, and the z will tell you the normal vector. Kind of same way that you could read off what's attached to the t to see the direction a line was going in in section 9.5. Um, we'll go ahead and do a couple examples uh, where we have to do a more complicated solution for that normal vector.